Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Dragonfly Gaming UK, and I'm back with again something slightly different. It is my intention to try and get my channel monetized, and I would just like to show people how I'm going with that. I mean, I know there's a lot of videos out there about people saying, "Yeah, you've been monetized for six months or whatever," but as a, a small gaming channel, it's extremely difficult to get monetized. But a lot of these people that say, "Yeah, I got monetized," and five weeks or whatever or very specialist in something or that's a finance or it's this or it's that it's not gaming gaming is very challenging to all you would-be game creators out there if you think you're just going to play a game record it quickly edit it upload it to youtube and the views uh, hours watched and the subscribers are going to flood in you need to be rethinking your career choices because that is not what happens with small gaming channels you are one of tens of thousands of people all doing the same thing. Me included, I admit it, I, I'm here as well. It is a hard slog to get your channel monetized. I know I've been on this path for quite a few months now. I can guarantee that 95, 96% of people who start out thinking that they're going to make a gaming channel and it's going to make them money will fail before they get anywhere near actually doing it. In fact, at the moment, it actually costs me money to run this channel. So I've got software and things I need I run. There is free software I could use, I'd appreciate that, but I currently use I know, Premiere Pro for video editing, and that costs me every month. I had to upgrade my broadband so I could upload the channels in a decent time. That cost me cost you know cost me money per month. So if you think it's gonna be a, a quick thing for a gaming channel, please think again. It's not. My journey started back in oh well I say my journey, my my channel started back in twenty twenty one. We had just gone into another lockdown, or just come out of another lockdown, I can't quite remember, and I was made redundant at the same time. I decided at that point I needed a career break, I was burnt out, I just needed a, a walk away from work for a while, recharge my batteries before I decided to go back to work. And by the time you've painted the house, you've done the garden, you know, you've cleaned the car, you've you've done everything you can around the house, I was starting to get a bit bored of them, honestly. I'm not one of these people that can just sit around doing nothing. I'd rather be reading, playing games, or, or, or something like that. I can't just sit here doing nothing. I started playing a game called Station Ears. Uh, it's still probably one of my main games on my channel. And I thought, you know what? There's not a lot of information on YouTube about Station Ears. Why don't I make a video? So I started making some videos back in 2021. That went on for a few months. I was I had no intention at that point of monetizing my channel by any means. It was never even a thought in my head. And then I eventually got another job about six months after I stopped working. And life took over, you know. And my channel went well, basically just mothballed my channel. I did upload a couple of videos between then and early part of this year. But to be honest, there weren't anything that's still on my channel. I took them down because it was rubbish. Fast forward to beginning of this year, January this year. And I started seeing some articles about how people are turbocharging, should we say, their views and their, their YouTube channels. And I read this article, and this is what you can do. So I thought, you know, I'll give that a try. Let's try it. So I did it. I quickly got to 16, 1700 subscribers in about a month. I know that sounds really good, but it was through YouTube advertising. And I was targeting mainly this was my mistake, I was targeting mainly the uh, Far East, so India, Pakistan, those sort of areas, because the cost to me of them viewing it was less than if it did it to Europe or the US. So I got a lot of subscribers very, very quickly. And if I go to my analytics and I go to the last 365 days, you can see here, I mean, that was literally it. I started my channel back here and I hit... 1800 views on 25th of Feb. So that's about a month after I'd started my channel. I had another peak. Oh, if it'll do it. Go on. On the 3rd of March. So around here, I was running a couple of adverts. And at the same time, I had some spikes in my subscribers. Great. I thought, this is easy. But let me show you my watch hours. What you don't see is the a similar. Get that. Oh, go away. Go away. What you don't see is a similar spike in viewing hours. So what it tells me is that people were seeing my channel, subscribing my channel without really realizing they're doing it. I mean, if you're talking Pakistan and India, that's 1.6 billion. That's a nearly a quarter of the world's population. It wouldn't take many of them just to accidentally hit that subscribe button for me to have 1,600 subscribers. So anyway, 
I think that's what happened. I don't think people were watching my channel. At the time, I was really buzzing. I thought, yeah, great, yeah. But you can just see my watch hours did not reflect this. It just didn't go up in line with that. So what did I take away from that? There were, like I said, I think a guy, people were just hitting it by mistake. I don't think they were intentionally subscribing to my channel. They weren't really interested in what the videos I was producing. And now I'm actually suffering, if anything, the flip side of that. So now I've got those people unsubscribed and I can see that because uh, it's, it's showing here, is it? Where's the show you? No, not that one. Um, you can see sometimes any, the, how many people have been subscribed to your channel. And oh, this one. Actually, it's not too bad there. The last seven days have not been too bad. There we go. We had quite a few people here leaving my channel. And as you can see, I mean, I'm getting two, three subscriptions a day. Okay, that's okay, that's not fantastic, but it's going in the right direction. But a long period where I was getting people leaving my channel, and I think that was these people, I think, inadvertently clicked access, you know, subscribe, and then they'd later on realizing that they unsubscribed again. And I've been suffering that pretty much since February, you know, people uh, leaving my channel. I have grown from 1,600 down to uh, 1,930 people, so the channel is growing. You'd also see that if I go back to uh, just go some 90 days. Yeah, there you can see there's quite a few negative numbers there. These are people leaving my channel. If I go back to watch hours, you can see, you know, I've had peaks and troughs of watch hours. So, and it is slowly growing. Go through in 65 days, you can sort of see that there's a general trend going up. And certainly more recently, I've seen bigger jumps in hours per day than I have previously. I'm still only at 30,000 views across my, my channel since January. So it is hard to get people to want to watch your videos. I'm quite niche. I still do a lot of my content still is around station ears. I've been doing some Icarus. That's not done very well, to be honest. It's not done as well as I thought. But you can see station years are getting a few more views. I also started doing a Pal World series. That's got quite a few views. That's only loaded up the last day or so. So that, that's why the numbers are still low in there. But yeah, I'm starting to get traction on my channel. So where am I, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Where am I now to getting monetized? So if we go down to the Earn page, you will see for the start your earning journey with a membership. So the membership... For those of you who don't know, you need 500 subscribers. You need to upload three videos in the last 90 days and have a minimum of 3,000 watch hours in the last year or 3 million short videos in the last 90 days. I've done some shorts. Don't particularly like doing shorts. I don't think they're, they're worth it. So I have got a couple of views there, but they're, they're, they're tailing off. They're starting to fall out the metrics over three months old. But yeah, so I'm currently at 2,733 watch hours. So that leaves me what? That's as of today. So that leaves me 267 hours left to go before I can start membership. But membership's not the one where you really make money. And well, so make money. <laughs> I'm not expecting to make very much money at all. The, the main one is when they can start doing, getting paid for advertising on your, on your page. And again, to get advertising, to, to be eligible for advertising, you need a thousand subscribers. And you need 4,000 watch hours in the last year, and as I said, I'm 2733, or 10 million shorts views in the last 90 days. Again, I'm not really bothered about shorts. I'm a gaming channel. All my videos are long format, so I'm not worried about shorts. I, I couldn't care less. So yeah, for this, so this one, I'm 1,267 away. Now, I do plot all this on a graph for my own interest, really, to see how things are going. And if it's bring up my little graph here, so... I log every day the numbers on here just going forward and then I chart that and this is going back to March where you can see a pretty flat line and then things start to pick up a bit and this is just a trend line based on all the previous information so that flat bit there is having an effect on that trend line a bit but I think it should be slightly higher but I'm not going to argue with it it's, this is where it is currently and if you look at a 3000 hour point that's where this little purple line is come down that's where currently projecting hitting the 3000 hours we're currently looking at around about up to 13th of august maybe the 15th of august when i did this two days ago it was back here so i was looking maybe the 17th of august a couple of days later and then a week before that uh, we were looking at the 23rd i guess of august so as you can see in the last sort of week or so a couple of weeks the numbers are going up and that, that day when it hit the 3,000 watch hours is actually coming to the left. And the same can be seen for the 4,000 watch hours. Back on the 18th of June, so that's a week and a half ago, I was looking to hit the 4,000 mark at, what's that, 17th, 18th of October. 
two days ago that was around about the 10th of October I'm now probably showing the 7th of October and again that's improving and if that trend does improve I might hit it I don't know late September early October so I'll, yeah I've still got a way to go and if you think if I hit that save I hit the beginning of October I've been running a channel since the end of, of January that's nine solid months of releasing between two and six seven videos a week that's quite a lot of work I mean I've got 130 I think videos on my channel 138 videos uh, that doesn't include ones I've already taken down and deleted so I've probably near a 145 in total that's a lot of work you think a video on my videos are typically 30 40 probably near a 40 to 60 minutes long so by the time you've actually recorded the video edited the video checked it uploaded it and done everything else each video is taking three to four hours if i'm doing five videos a week that could be up to 20 hours of effort in that week on top of my nine to five job it's an awful lot of work to do on top of everything else on top of you know normal life and one thing or another and if currently i am paying it costing me to do this which is why i want to get monetized you know i'd like to at least if nothing else just cover my costs ideally i'd like to make enough to be able to replace my current gaming laptop with a better one so i can bring higher quality videos i'm currently limited to 1080p i'd like to go up to ultra hd 2160 whatever it is and start recording at that level just to make the videos a bit crisper uh, and clearer on youtube but my current laptop won't, won't actually deal with that it actually overheats at the moment uh, i have to run it with a fan on it just to try and keep the keyboard cool enough to be able to use it so yeah that's where i'm on my journey towards getting monetized and a small gaming channel if you are thinking to do it please do be prepared to put in the work it is not a simple job yes i am a bit niche yes i'm not the best orator there are people who are you know much more dynamic than me i guess and um charismatic when they're doing the videos Every, everyone's different they, they will make it there quicker i'm not you know i'm not really charismatic i'm not really extrovert you know i'm not really uh, everybody i want to be the center of attention i'm doing this more for me than i'm doing it for anybody else i'm not doing it for the attention i'm just doing it because to be honest my day job is quite difficult quite stressful and doing this helps me switch off from my day job and just helps me relax in the evenings so yeah that's it guys if you'd like to see a follow-up on this and maybe a month's time or a couple of weeks time please let me know in the comments please do hit the like and subscribe all subscriptions are welcome if you'd like to know any more information please get in touch this is Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night